高兴有在这个机会来这边各位报告一个百万捐款 ，Crazy Medicine 哦，啊，嗯，事实上整个题目有一点心虚的哈，啊啊，因为我本身是 only in computer science 哈 ，in major in the biomedical science rather than all the area of the bioengineering。And bioengineering is a very, very big, uh, very huge project that included uh, electronics, uh, engineering, medical engineering, uh, chemistry, and material science, uh, all kinds of the, um, as you think, the, the engineering college, so the degree of the engineering. So, 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 所以我就拜托了 PI 看他们有没有讲，因为上个礼拜 PI 在美国用的啊 ，Precision Medicine 和 Embodied 就是 Relative Research， 所以我就想说，那就拜托我们的啊 PI， 然后问了三四个，大家都说不讲这样子啊，他不讲我也没办法啊，我就去问主秘，我说报告主秘，没有人要讲怎么办？然后主秘说你讲啊，我说不行啊，我不能讲，我说能不能不讲？然后主秘就用很很严厉的口气，和颜悦色的跟我讲说不行这样子。所以我就是要准备这个题目的时候，所以我就讲一个班主任啊，不 ，precision medicine。And I used to we have I know that we also have some research, um, a so called personal precision medicine. So later on, and the, on the last few slides, I I will show you uh what has been done in the personal precision medicine, uh from started from the biomaterials. 所以我大概会从这个来出发哈。那我想大家知道就是说，我的名字叫李峰飞哈，然后我要叫大陆哈。啊、uh, ，All my cross b r a i n c o m e double， 所以你要的话可以称我是 double 这样子。然后现在在刚刚主持人已经报告过了，就是说啊， uh, 我在两边做 component， 一直在台北九公园做出另外一个事啊， uh, 我们啊国家卫生局的 i p a d 啊，那底下是我的 email 跟我的 address 啊、uh, ，email address 跟我的啊啊电话啊，那如果啊、uh, I talk not very well， 或者 can I answer your question very well？ And then you go to this email to contact with me directly. I'm sorry, I'll be out. So we are used to be um, in the traditional medicine, uh, in the uh, left side of uh, conventional medicine or traditional medicine, and the left side of precision medicine. In the uh, conventional medicine, uh, such a patient group in my uh, genomics, uh, omics, um, or the TNM um, stage, or some others, and then risk profile and some other clinical. Uh, B tools, so they combine together. Okay, but uh, for the precision medicine, they added on some of the personal label, such as uh, um, the uh, genomic lifestyle or the behavior or the health uh, history, and some others so they put in the uh, personal data into and collect all this data, put it into the next decision for the later on uh, treatment. So we will know that so precision medicine is a, 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 a medical model, is a customized health care with the correct. Medical treatment, procedure treatment, and practice. So it's not a uh, just a one drug that fits all models. So it's all the thing that I tell you, go to that, um, just to have that kind of chain or thing, and those side effects. So it's all the personal medicine or the, or the um, patient medicine. Somehow we can say, uh, after correct treatment and the patient and the um, lower cost, less side effects, and then more efficiency, uh, after the uh, treatment. So EU medical definition for the personalized medicine uh, or the precision medicine does um, uh, provide the right treatment to the right patient at the right dose at the right time. Okay. So the that is one. And now there's a lot of the uh, technology involved, such as the uh, bioprinting and then uh, cell therapy, gene therapy, drug delivery system with the targeting purpose. And you say we just target to the specific area, so the targeting. Our drug delivery system uh, has been developed uh, for the uh, purpose. And then we also developed lots of the uh, smart material, such as self healing material, or the um, shared memory material. And then lots of the AI, uh, bioinformatics, automatic device also embodied into the uh, precision management already. So all this technology developed, they try to overcome the detection during the infrogenous environment in the human body. So um, this is a whole global trend, uh, trend or global trend for the precision medicine. Uh, from the, uh, 2019 to 2025, um, annual growth rate is around 14 percent. It's very very high. Okay. So this um, uh, trend is um, there is something like here, and then this is the global distribution or we call market share. And the major one is in the um, North Korea, uh, North America, 
Once again, the about how fifty four percent on the European country, overall EU is around twenty eight percent. And uh, overall Asia is uh, in less than the average of about thirteen percent, the other area four point five percent. And then so major market uh, distribution uh, the mega share is in the um, North America and Europe. But the Asia country increased very much in the recent few years. It's actually in the uh, main China, Taiwan, Korea, uh, South Korea, and, uh, and Japan. That's uh, increased very much. So the definition of American job is um, same concept as being in China. We try to use engineering principles of engineering technology and then the materials to promote the medical application and the health care application in something like this one. Okay. So now there's a lot, a lot of the uh, technology involved in such as uh, um, we could collect uh, the data from family history and the genetic uh, screen and the uh, social economy factors. And I guess it's something like risk assessment at the whole stage of life. And then we also continue to collect uh, the, um, we call the data uh, from the, um, the, the person body. We call the customized um, um, monitoring system, um, implantable available a smartphone, smart home, and then the uh, biomarker image. And we collect all this data and put it into the, something like AI to next procedure. And that's the data money, data analysis, and, and then to, for the machine learning uh, in part. And then the, the pattern recognition is as well. And also put into the, uh, finally, uh, the procedure we call intervention, and the doctor visiting doctor give uh, uh, guidance on the uh, support uh, for the patient. And then patient could receive a correct treatment in the outcome. And then um, there's a already lots of the company developed such a um, device or such a, um, a strategy. Such a mobile case developed a personalized outcome the treatment plan for a patient. They just received um, a PRA approval in um, Europe, the first and only targeted medicine for the HR party that occur to the negative advanced breast cancer reserve. Uh, P3 uh, CA mutation. So this is uh, um, developed in 2020. And then um, another one in 2019, um, Roche um, uh, it, it just developed one of the, um, um, we call it uh, Ventana PBL1, ASA is SP1, uh, SP1 2042, ASA in C mark market as a post companion. Uh, diagnostic to identify uh, triple negative breast cancer patient eligible for treatment with uh, um, peace and trick. So peace and trick is each year is about 300,000 patients around the world uh, that are diagnosed with a triple negative, triple negative breast cancer and an aggressive disease with a limited treatment option. So this one is also one kind of the example uh, for the uh, personalized um, medicine. Uh, from the uh, large company. And then the other one is IBM Watson uh, Harris. Uh, they just support the IBM, it's very good. Uh, okay. And then um, they just launched, uh, they just started a two year uh, research grant and then to uh, explore the um, blockchain uh, potential for the sharing of um, um, own mediated data uh, resources. So it's uh, related to electronic. Uh, here is a record in the city medicine data and the information from, information from the Internet of Things. Um, it's IoT. Okay. And the FDA um, in 2017, uh, they also um, approved by, um, 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 the, the airport was also approved by FDA uh, in 2017. And this is one kind of the um, medical device. It's a wearable device that could collect the ECG, EKG, okay. and then uh, blood pressure oxygen uh, level uh, detection is also uh, across in one of the units. That's already um, on the market in 2017. And then, so the precision uh, medicine, um, we could benefit it, uh, shift the uh, emphasis in the medicine from the uh, reaction to prevention and predict the susceptibility to disease, improve disease detection, prevent disease uh, progression, and customize the disease from the, um, to the prevention strategy and uh, prescribe a more effective drug, avoid the um, side effect from the overdose drug or somehow, okay, and reduce the time cost and the value rate of the pharmaceutical or the clinical trial. And animate the trial error efficiently. 
So any also even minimize the animal uh, use in some way. Okay. So is the um the 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 um, the this picture um uh, Frida also used this picture uh, to give this talk. Okay. So um there's a uh, many many um technology already already developed uh, to try to solve the problem. Let's we try let's refresh um in the challenge of the pre nice prestige management. So this is the way of device point of care and then the uh, new generation uh, sequencing called NGS and then bioinformatics and then the, some of the nano structure nano material or should be scaffold erupted uh, for the purpose and then combine sometimes this um, material with combined cells we will talk even after and the T cell and then the stem cells or other NK cells involved and then multiple organ uh, on the chip and then here is a 3D printing technology is all involved um, try to uh, solve uh, the problem uh, from the um, um, rest from the um, precision medicine. So um, this one is uh, sometimes uh, uh, we will develop one of the biomaterials, material, something like HCM for the patient, okay, very close to the patient ECM, and then uh, some of the material or some of the cells will be isolated from the patient, and after a cultural period of time, and the CT on the biomaterial will scaffold it. After that, uh, we give a uh, correct uh, the regulatory signal, the signal uh, transduction. And then after, they start developing into a uh, uh, real organ re I cannot say real organ re I like to say tissue like structure, organ like structure. But then there was a function that I put into the body. So it's something like one of the old material that comes from the uh, patient's body. And then you can use the patient's ceiling um, as a cultural um, material. And after that, and back to the patient body. So it's one kind of procedure, um, medicine study from the biomaterials. And then um, the other one is the personal medicine from the uh, organ and chips. So we could uh, develop one of the chip as a compiled micro root system from the way of the system. And the way of the system has lots of the cavity of the petri or some of the slot here. And then we control different kinds of cells. And this cell such as uh, we could control the liver cell outside. Uh, uh, heart cell, cardio, and then the brain, or some others, okay, in different uh, pit or different cavity. And then all these pit and cavity, they are connected by one of the channel. And this channel we call microbiotic system. And then we give in the medium, or the serum, or the tissue, um, tissue free, something like that. And then in the central, we culture maybe one of the um, cancer. Uh, steel or something like that. When you cancer spur, maybe it can come from the patient's body and then to um, culture here. And we just use some of the graph, okay, or some pharmaceuticals and give a different dosage and then to see how control the, um, the cancer steel or some others, okay, and then to see um, could we control the, the, the steel or could we minimize the steel or somehow we could kill all the uh, cancer cells and we see the optimum dose not damage other cells. So somehow um, we could develop something like an organ and chips and then to um, minimize the animal study or something like that. Okay. So um, the other one we also um, use uh, the um, genetic information and we can tell the the patient which gene turn on cancer, which gene turn on cancer and then uh, through this way and we could uh, have a better uh, decision better treatment for the patients. And then um, the artificial intelligence is that um, artificial intelligence in healthcare is, is something like data collecting, storing, uh, normalizing, and uh, tracing. And after all this data collected, and then we could give a um, correct or right treatment to, to the right patient at the right time, the right dose. And this help the medical decision based on the uh, patient's needed or the individual patient needed. And then um, the, there's a, uh, sometimes we need to collect the um, continuous data for location. And if it's a continuous data or something like, like this device uh, could be incorporated in different uh, systems, such as the operating across, okay, the evil some of the super evil. And then the smart band, something like the, uh, the um, Apple Watch or the Asus Watch. Something like that. Okay, and the shoes with the clothing shoes, and then the contact lens. And the contact lens, sometimes we could um, to detect the glucose level and then interocular pressure or somehow. Okay, and then breath analysis 
for the um, lung cancer detection and some others. And the electron spin, we could use it for the sweat entry, burn sweat, and a wet sweat, and we could know how much glucose and that some other uh, biomarker we detect, and for the disease detection or the, or the uh, cell uh, management, health management, so the same thing. And the other way to implant for uh, such as um, um, cardiac monitors uh, to monitor NO and oxygen somehow. Okay. So also, one of the devices is an important of care, and then the Jacob continues to collect the measure of data, um, um, and then um, about 24 hours a day. So it is a very useful uh, for the health management, uh, prevention medicine, and then even um, the correct treatment. And uh, it's really printing. So um, sometimes we are collected the, the, the cell from a patient, and then we squeeze the a so-called bi-ink, or that's what some of the moisture, not the bi-ink, and mix it with the, the, the cell. And then printed it on the, one of the disks, and it did the thing to the something like scaffold content of cells. And then after it's cut for a full period of time, and then implant back to the patient's body. So that sometimes they are combined with the 3D printing technology and to prepare black uh, tissue organs and put in the patient's body. So this is some of the example from our lab. Okay, um, I think the promise is still not for it's almost three um, minutes. So in the cell therapy, yes, we just uh, um, uh, harvest the cell from the patient's body. And then it's a traditional way, which I expect by 2D condition. But it's because I lost the phenotype. In that 2D panel, it's not lost the phenotype. And then sometimes they cannot uh, toward the correct differentiation. So then we just uh, um, capture in one of the designs, the bioreactor. And this bioreactor, um, not bioreactor, it's a biomaterial, so called scaffold. And then we just put in the cell um, design uh, bioreactor. Okay? And then this scaffold will be dissolved in some condition, such as because some sensitive appears to that fits the proton cell, or the proton cell, and the proton cell. So we could collect the whole sphere. This is not cell. It's something like sphere. We call tissue sphere, bone sphere, cartilage sphere. OK, and that look back, back to the patient body for the uh, defect uh, generation or tissue regeneration in some way. And then we we'll just uh, uh, prove that all the uh, sphere is rotating into the, um, the, the tissue, a real tissue. And then uh, very good. And then we also use in the bone defect and the all the all the available that is how we say here. And then the second uh, example is bioreactor and for the drug screen uh, platform. So it's the same. Um, the cell is cut uh, is cultivated and after the fermentation body and go through the uh, system and then we can use it for the drug screening. Uh, you don't take a spill, now you do the drug screen, now kind of bring your job how the treatment and what, it, what kind of it is, is the best one. So it's also, uh, we use a drug screen platform. And then um, the third one um, is um, a 3D drug, um, it's also used for 3D drug screening. This is something like an uh, organ and treatment. And then we could give a different uh, flow, and then with a different cell delivery. And then also with the different um, the, the pit or tag here. And then we also prepare um, the scaffold. This scaffold to mimic the lung structure of the airport from that sort of um, the okay. And then we see it with the uh, primary, um, primary stem cell. And the primary stem cell in some condition that could be um, developed or differentiated into the type 1 and type 2 um, primary cells. And the power says the type one is for matrix and then type two is something like surfactant. Okay. So, so this way we could um, use the, um, use this scaffold that we design something like um, So and the last one is uh, we develop one of the uh, carrier for the uh, genetic uh, delivery as a magnetic uh, and we just add in uh, one of the some like ion or very high fellows and then to make this hydrosia effect. Originally there are no uh, magnetic property and then they are it developed into the uh, something like a magnetic property. And then use this one uh, we combine with the magnetic field and then to effectively deliver the gene into the cell. Okay. So this is our all uh, study and that's we uh, started from material and uh, to the personalized 
um, uh, regenerative medicine. So the future prospect, uh, prospect uh, I think um, there's a more technology developed and uh, involved into the uh, precision, uh, precision medicine or the personalized uh, regeneration medicine. That's include the telemedicine, uh, gene editing, next generation sequencing, artificial intelligence, and smart biomaterial, and then uh, the, uh, the, the uh, medical device as well. And finally, I'll to thank you for your listening and the cooperation with the team the success. Medical, engineering, bio, come back together, must be successful. Thank you. Thank you for your time.